made the drastic changes. I'm loving it. I decided to go away from the blonde to the brown to try some color. This is one of my favorite greens, especially like the deeper green. So I'm going to show you guys how I did that, so stay tuned. So let's get started. I got some gloves here. I got my mannequin prepped. Y'all remember her from the last video. So all I'm doing is just placing two scoops of bleach into my mixing bowl. Then you're going to see me add some 50 uh, developer. That's how, like I want to bring it to the lightest tone. I'm going to lift it to the slightest tone, mix it, mix. Um, and as you can see, I already like put half up, half down. So pretty much the one that's down, that's where I'm going to be laying out my ombre. Um, so that's my special effect of how I'm doing it. There's other ways you can achieve ombre. You do it your way. This is my way. So from the, I'm starting from the front. So I section the front into two sides. So I'm doing the first side, which is the right side. And I'm simply just bleaching the ends. So I don't know how many inches, centimeters, but visually you guys can see where I, what I'm doing. And then I'm putting it into foil paper. That way um, it could lift to... Um, it's maximum potential or at least until like I'm content with how bright and light it will be So I'm done talking to yourself like that's all I have to explain so Continue watching and I'll speak at further times You guys do remember that I did bleach this hair in my last video and if you guys are wondering why didn't I or why didn't I also do the like this part is because it would have been too harsh on the hair that's why I did it in intervals um, to make sure that I didn't break the hair or make the hair too dry so I hope you guys understand why I did what I did So now we're at the end. I left it in for about 20 minutes and as you can see I checked to see how bright it was. I was content. Now on to washing. So I just washed it out first without any shampoo or conditioner with some cool water. Um, it could be warm if you'd like. This part is no biggie. It's, it's, it's already bleached. Like nothing's going to run out. I applied the um, Shimmer Lights conditioner and um, afterwards I did this twice but it was too long to film like you have to get bored. But I did the conditioner twice, rinse out, and repeat. Then on to the shampoo, I'm using a macadamia oil, and I shampooed it about two times as well, the parts that were bleached, and yeah. Now to the fun part. This is the next day um, to dyeing part. I'm just adding some got to be spray um, on the inside so there's no stains. Mind you, I still got a bit of stains, but they were minor. Not so bad, not so bad. So I'm just going to be spraying the front parts to avoid uh, bigger damage to the lace front. The dyes I'll be using is Color Insta. I got it at Pharma Free. Then I had Emo and Clover and as you can see the ice mint. So I'm starting off with the, uh, with the Insta color which is just a basic green. Uh, and then I added some Clover. You will see me add, not now. <laughs> Now, you'll see me add, I'm adding some clover to it because I found it was like not the green that I wanted. I wanted it more deeper, hunter green. Now it's the green that I like and I love, yes. So I'm just gonna be doing that to the first side. Then I'll be moving on to the next side, then the back, and then the rest of the hair. So fun fact, I've been reusing all of my old wigs that I've started on and practiced like, a, like practiced on a year ago. So I said, instead of me just like dashing them out, again, I'm using the same recycle reuse method just so that way um, it's a learning experience, you know. So I'm also, I'm checking out the quality of the hair. I'm checking out all the things I can do with it. Um, and I'm just reusing it. Even if I messed up in the beginning, like my first time 
making lace parts like you can see there's like a butchered hole right there like wh what was I doing I said you know what let's try to still make something out of it and that is what I am doing so I said let's buy it before we give up we're not giving up just so easy so so this is the back part I'm going to be dying if you guys can see the lightness of uh, the bleach, bleach method and I'm gonna be quiet now and let you guys enjoy the rest until we get to something else. Yes, now for the fun part. So I added icy mint at first and some baby blue, but it didn't uh, it didn't take to the hair quite well. It wasn't light enough, so I added some emerald. And you're just gonna see me work that in from the bleach part all the way to the end. And I'm gonna massage it in, make sure it has full coverage. Also, the top, the rest of the part, like you're gonna see me put this part all into foil paper to avoid bleeding and um, messing up in the top part, which I just used the first batch to finish off the top part. Um, I didn't get to videotape that because my camera did die. So I will show you the end results, how everything looked, and then we'll get on to wash day and how I styled it. So to wash it, again, you want to use cool water to wash it out that way um, your color doesn't bleed out. So I washed it, it was a longer process, again, I don't want to bore you guys. I washed it till the water was clear and then I just, uh, I then I applied shampoo and some conditioner to make sure that it was soft. So originally I had styled it with some wands. Uh, the front curls came out really boss. However, the back curls were not dried as yet and I wanted to make sure this video was done in time for you guys. So I just went ahead and took my curling wand and I finished this hairstyle with, with the wand. If you guys are interested in how I achieve my curls with flexi rods for those that don't uh, want to put heat in their hair or with the wand, let me know down below in the comments and I will definitely get that out for y'all. If you want to know how long it took me, um, I blo I bleached the hair. Well, I kind of explained that in in, 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 in the video, right? You, you guys caught on. Anyways, um, let me know what you guys think down in my comments. I'm stoked to know what you guys thought of the color, if you guys like it, um, what other colors you like to see me try. Please, interact with me. Let me know in the comments. Don't be shy. I really don't bite. I really don't. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Till next time, boo. Bye.